Today what we're going to be doing is a, what are we doing? Easter egg tasting. Okay. So we've got lots of different eggs that we're going to go through. They are all vegan. And what we're going to do is just go through them all, give you a little description of them all and give you our honest review. We've also got our little friend here, Mason, who is going to give you a review of them and an honest review on what he thinks. So, which one do you think that we should start with first? Mm. Which one do you think? We've got lots of others, not just the ones I've shown you. We've got about 10 here, so we're going to go through them all and see what we think of them. Which one do you think first? Which one should we start with first? That one. This one looks really good and I've never ever tried this one before. I think it's been around for a little while but I've never tried it and it's the White Strawberry Hamster by Moo Free. So all the eggs that we try are vegan. So what we're going to do is get a little bit off. We're just going to have a little bit because we've got a lot to get through. So what we're going to do is have a little bit each and let everyone know what we think of it. So. You can definitely taste that strawberry. It looks tastes like sour and milk shake and mochaka. It tastes, yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. I would say. I think if you have, although it is little, only a little hamster, so you couldn't have a lot of it anyway, but I think if you had a lot of it, it would be quite sticky. But overall, how many out of 10? I would say six out of ten for that one. Six out of ten. What one next? What one next do you think? Oh, this is another. This is from Asda Free From Range. It's vegan. Obviously everything's vegan. And this is strawberry flavour. So this is also strawberry so and white chocolate. So what we could do is compare this one to that um, one. Yes, Chocolate to So we're trying the biggest ones last away. So this is white chocolate and strawberry. So we're gonna try this and then maybe we can compare to that one that we just had because that was also white chocolate and strawberry. So we'll get a little bit each to try, that can be your bit. Ready? can't really see when it's in the packaging. It is really thick chocolate and it looks like it's been quite well made. I don't know about that one. Maybe about a 6 or 10 out of 10 for that one. I think that's one where the taste would grow on your opposed to when you first try it. It's like really nice. So the next one, which one should we try next? Oh, there's so much choice. Which one? Come on. That one. So I think it looks like we're going through the white chocolate first. Now this is also from Asda's Free From Range. Um, Asda, a white chocolate, of course it has a black chocolate. Yeah, we are, the brown chocolate. And this is just plain white chocolate. So I haven't got any strawberry in. So, I think you'll like this one. This one, look, oh look, um, also I didn't mention that you didn't get anything in them ones. Actually, if you look in the bottom of that egg, it looks like there's meant to be something in the bottom, but there's not. But in this one, you do actually get some white chocolate buttons in this one. This one is also a lot thinner. I'm not sure if you can see. This one is a lot thinner than that one. Maybe, I don't know if it's just got it smaller, but... Oh! It's just splat everywhere. <laughs> right, so, we're going to try this one. 
This is just plain white chocolate. Ready? Um. Yeah, quite like that. Do you like that? Do you want to try a little bit more? It tastes like candy. Yeah, that one's quite nice. I'll probably give that a seven. It's not, like, amazing, but it is quite nice. So I'd give that a seven. I'll be happy with... I probably wouldn't choose to buy that for myself, but I would also be grateful anybody did buy that. So, next. No, 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 come on. What, what we're doing next? Ooh, try. What one we're trying next? This one. So this one's already been opened. And this is the Holland and Barrett one. This is just their own range of Easter egg. I think this might have actually been one of the cheapest ones. It was only like two pounds or nine or something. Um, so we'll try the bunny and this is the bunny that you get in the bottom. And this is just milk chocolate. And it says an organic dairy free milk chocolate alternative. And that's quite nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, probably. That's quite re That's a really good alternative to milk chocolate, I would say. I would probably give that about an eight out of ten because that, for the price and the quality, that is actually quite good. So I give that. We'll give that an eight out of ten. Next. Next, which one we're going to do next? I'm really excited for this one. I'm really excited for I think it's how you say it is the Daisy and Dan one. I'm really excited for that one. I'm really excited for that one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. So, want to try this one next? No, no, I'm excited. Right. Okay. Keeping that at the end. Mm -hmm. Right. What we're doing next then? Yes, this one. Okay. Right. Now. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate and I can only have it in small bits um, so but I am, I've heard lots of good reviews about this so I'm definitely excited to try it um, I've just read somewhere as well that I think this might be made from all recycled packaging as well so this is a really big box as well and bonus this is probably one of the more expensive ones if not the most expensive one but you also get the um i think they're called nut cups obviously it's meant to be peanut butter with almond um dark chocolate easter egg so anyway let's try it and see what we think packaging is really great it's a nice big box and the egg seems to be pretty big as well and i've noticed that on these ones there's no plastic, it's just kind of like a cardboard. So that is probably better for the environment also. And it says it's made from palm oil free and all natural ingredients. So let's have a little try. So it's quite a big egg. And let's see, I think it's quite smooth Wow, This is really quite smooth as well. You can see this is a darker chocolate. I'm trying to break it without not shattering any. A thousand pieces, a bit like that. Right. Let's try this. I'll try no, 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 don't get that bit. Just We're just gonna try a little bit and then you can eat the rest later, ready? Mm. That is really dark. I think if you had if you love dark chocolate, that'd be really nice. But I'm not. Uh, yes, yeah, nice. No, he doesn't like it. So uh, uh, I'll put it out. <laughs> okay, just put it on there. Yeah, don't. And he doesn't like it, so that's a no from him. I don't think he likes dark chocolate. Like I say, I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it's a bit better. <laughs> so is that a zero out of ten from you? He doesn't like dark chocolate. We've just established that. No, it's, it's six means I'm not like it. Um, 
I think if you were a dark chocolate fan, that would probably be quite nice if you like dark chocolate. But I think with them just being threes, two spuds probably aren't that adapted to it yet. Um, I would probably give that a five, but that's only because I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. Now, you're not going to like these now because they're dark chocolate as well. So, should mommy just try these? And these are the Nutter Cups. So we'll try this. I'll just have a little try and see what I think. I can take a picture of you. Wait a minute, sit down, you can a minute. Yeah, the little hot glasses of the dad. I think he had a bit of a um, downhill spike from the dark chocolate. He doesn't actually want to take part in the taste test anymore. I think it might feel slightly sick, although it wasn't that bad. As I was saying, um, the dark chocolate, even though this is the same amount of dark chocolate as the egg, um, I think the insides don't make it, the, the, the almond butter that's inside don't make it as bad. Even though it wasn't bad, so I don't want to use the word bad, but as the egg. Overall, I'd probably give that about a 5 out of 10. I mean, I've heard lots of good reviews about these. And I've been so excited to try them. But if you don't like dark chocolate, I mean, it's not ideal. But anyways, I like the chai thing, so I thought I'd give it a try. So, we've done that. It's done. The next one also is the dark chocolate one. But like I said, I wanted to try. So, this is actually Bourneville chocolate. And what might come as a surprise to some vegans since I've never actually tried Bourneville before. I don't know why, I think it's because it's dark chocolate and like I say I've never been a fan of dark chocolate but I thought I'd give it a try since it's an easter egg Um, I mean the packages, oops, it's a really um big box Um, I'm not sure what you get in it, I think you get I think you get like a bar in with it as well but like I'll have a look This is the one that Mason said he was excited to try but I think he might be slightly let down the fact that he now has established he doesn't like dark chocolate. But if he wants to try it, I mean, that's fine. Um, this is the same kind of packaging as the other big egg, the Daisy and Dam one. Um, it's all just like cardboard inside and full of plastic. So that's really good. Oh my goodness. You do actually get a box. That's quite a large bar like I've never seen you actually get a bar like this inside of an egg before I thought it was just going to be like a little mini thing so that's actually really good um, orange dark chocolate and this egg is a really huge egg as well also this one's flavoured um, I think even though that was you get the almond nut cup inside of it I don't think the egg was flavoured but this is dark chocolate in it but it's got orange in so I am going to try it. I don't know what percentage this one is. Does it say? I think this is less. So this might not be as dark. But I'm, I'll have a little... Crack it a little bit. And have a taste of it. You can smell the orange already. Doesn't want to come out. Yeah, that's actually quite nice, considering it's dark chocolate. That is nowhere near as dark as that. I think this is like 36%, I think it said. If I've got it right, I think it's 36%, where else that one was 70%. Now, I've actually shocked myself because I thought I'd prefer that one so much better than the Cadbury's one. But this is actually so much better. But that's just because I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. Like I said, if you like dark chocolate, you would probably maybe prefer this one. I'm going to give that, I'm probably going to give that a seven because that is actually really nice. And if you like the orange, like Terry's chocolate orange as well, that's quite nice. So I think I'll definitely enjoy that bar. I'm not going to try the bar because it's just exactly the same as the egg. But I think I'm going to give that a seven. Yeah. That deserves a seven, definitely. So, um, what we've got left is, um, we did get two Moo Free ones. We've had the hamster, um, and now we have got these ones. This one is just a plain chocolate. 
and this one is bunny comb now this would i've tried these before and this would normally be my go-to egg um it's vegan no palm oil obviously no dairy i don't think this has soy in either so anybody that may have um soy allergies um i think that this probably would be good for you and also the whole even though there's plastic inside of the packaging i think it's all recycled plastic um yeah made with recycled plastic and you can also then buy your recycled plastic so um you get this and you get a little um chucky chums bar to go with it um i can't really say just by looking at it if it's thick or thick and i can't remember even though i should what it was like last time yeah it's quite thin but um i would imagine it's nice and also if you can see the little bunny comb which is vegan honeycomb pieces that are inside of it yeah that is really nice um i'm trying to think when i would give that i think i'll definitely give that a nine out of ten yeah normally with the little eggs as well you don't normally get any like little treats in so that's really good to get those um i've just got chocolate i literally got covered chocolate all over my hands now i'm not going to try that because that is just literally going to be the same as that so i'm now going to try this plain one this is just a new free plain chocolate and this is get one of these little chucky chums bars and it says who's hiding in yours so i'm assuming that they may be one of different characters so this one is just the plain version i absolutely love the um i've bought we've bought these but we don't actually need to try these now because this one is the version of the bunny comb egg and this one's the version of the plain egg and they taste exactly the same but you can also get these so these are a nice addition to buy as well as the eggs to go with eggs if you want to give them a gift for someone so this is the plain this is really really nice really nice um i think i'm also going to have to give that one in the out time as well um yeah definitely an eye out of time for that one it's a really really good alternative to milk chocolate say like Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate if you miss out on that type of thing um the there's also supermarkets like Tesco Morrison's and um, Sainsbury's who sell the free from um chocolate bars and chocolate buttons obviously they're all vegan and um, and they are really good alternatives as well to have throughout the air when you can't buy the easter eggs obviously they won't have the um, easter eggs in supermarkets throughout the air the last egg that we're going to try is from Tesco and this is, I don't think they had these ones last year, I think they were just plain chocolate last year but this year it's um, caramel flavour chocolate egg and you also get chocolate buttons in the bottom. They were the chocolate buttons that I was mentioning about where um, you can buy them throughout the year. So it's um, gluten free, wheat free and milk free. I don't think it's soy free. Um, I think maybe the milk free ones might be the only soy ones. Yeah this has got soy in. And in terms of cotton is widely recycled and the tray is widely, widely recycled and the film is not yet recycled it says. Um, it doesn't say anything else apart from that. So in terms of um, being good for the environment, I think maybe it's the new free ones, maybe the best. Um, yeah, I think the new free ones might be in terms of the best for the environment. So, well, I think we tried a Tesco one earlier. Oh no, we didn't. That was Asda. I was thinking this one was Tesco. I don't think Tesco had the um, white chocolate version to this. They were only selling this and the Moo Free ones. So the only kind of own brand Tesco supermarket brand version was the caramel one. There was no other alternative. Whereas Morrison's and Asda had 
white chocolate then the milk chocolate and then i think they had like the strawberry or um banana and um, banana sorry and um, raspberry versions and um, so back to this one as you can see it's not very smooth it's quite thin but i mean this was 2 50 and you get kind of the buttons to go with it so you can't really complain at that price for an easter egg especially with the vegan and the dairy free, free things you'll find that normally they're slightly expensive than say just like a normal Cadbury dairy milk egg or something like that i think it's because the demand is not as much as the non-vegan ones at the moment unfortunately but we'll get there in the end we'll get there so i'm about to try this caramel on and i was just reading there that it's made with rice syrup and rice flour that was really really nice there is a weird kind of texture slash taste that comes out in that um it is a strange taste it doesn't really taste caramelly um if that's even a word caramelly it doesn't really taste of caramel i wouldn't say i can't really work out what it tastes like but nonetheless it is a very nice i would probably give that an eight and a half next thing that we're going to try is these have already been opened obviously because we could not Yet again, these are by Donnelly and Dam, and these are 70% also. However, I've already sniggly tried one, and I know they are really, really, really nice. Um, my son opened the, the reason that already opened this because he made little crispy cakes over Easter, and he put these on top. So these are just basically a vegan version of a mini egg. I don't think you can get anything else like this in the vegan form not in the uk anyway well i've never seen an alternative to mini egg but they are basically the exact same in a darker chocolate form um i think these are 1.99 in holland and barrett is where i found them i've never seen them anywhere else but i would imagine they will be sold in more places than just holland and barrett but yeah they are definitely on the winning I, I don't i know this doesn't count as an easter egg but they are definitely 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 on the higher end of the scale so i'd probably give those a nine out of ten as well um i've got a feeling that they might sell these all year round not just at easter because these were actually on the shelves before the easter eggs came out so in terms of which egg would win i can't really decide because i think i was more surprised by how nice this was um i think i just had a preconceived idea in my head that it wasn't going to be nice because it's dark chocolate but actually it turns out that it's not that dark um i was looking on the back and it says not suitable for someone with a milk allergy but I don't think that's, it hasn't actually got milk in. I think that's just because of the way that it's obviously prepared. Because obviously it's Cadbury. So they mainly deal with um, milk products. So what I'm guessing is, is that they, there may be some kind of contamination, I'm guessing. But there's no actually milk actually in the product. I think the winner has got to be just the original, um my original go-to which is the bunny comb egg even though it's quite small and but very cute at the same time this would be really good for someone to get their kids and um, i think this has definitely got to be the winner and um, followed by this that's technically cheating because it's not an actual easter egg but definitely definitely these two winners yeah so um let me know in the comments what your favorite egg is or if you've never tried the vegan eggs definitely go out and try them uh, like i say i think you'd be able to buy these just all year round so definitely definitely try them um so let me know what your favorite egg is and if he's come back to say bye so don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel, channel. bye